Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So I'm actually going to clean up the truck today. It's pretty dirty with all the salt and brine and everything that we got uh, the past few days. We had some snow and all that, so it's pretty filthy. Uh, so I'm going to give the truck a good wash. Uh, I also got some gloss black mirror caps and I wanted to badge the EcoBoost little badge on the side doors. Um, and I also got uh, the new badges in, so I'm going to put them on as well. But let me first clean this thing up. It's pretty darn filthy. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but you can kind of see when you get up close. It's uh, pretty dirty, pretty gross looking. Uh, so I want to get it cleaned up and uh, looking better. Next week, actually, is when the wheels and tires are going on. So I'm super excited about that. So I'll definitely have videos on all that. And I want to get it clean. It's supposed to be pretty nice the next few days. No rain or snow or anything like that. So I figure this is a good opportunity to clean up. This truck takes a long time to clean up just because it's so massive compared to the STI. Uh, but let's get cracking on it and let's get it cleaned up. Well, never mind. Scratch the wash. The hose is frozen, unfortunately. Uh, so can't wash it. But I'm still going to put the gloss black mirrors on. So they're over here, as you guys can see. These are not caps. They don't just stick on. They actually are full replacement. So you can kind of see in the back here with the clips. So I need to remove these stock plastic ones and get these on. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I've already taken the mirrors apart like 10 times already. When I did the turn signals and I also replaced the driver's side mirror. So it's very straightforward. So let's go ahead, let's get that done. Uh, and then we can move on to the EcoBoost side badges and then the uh, badges up front and in the rear. So let's get cracking on that. So here is the driver's side mirror cover. Basically, it's just held down by a few clips. So you can see one, two, three, and then one down here. All we're gonna do is just pop them out and then we can slip the new one on. So pretty simple and uh, a big change. Even though it's minor, it all makes a difference in the long run. All right, so we got the stock plastic one off. Here's a comparison. Here's the old one, new one much nicer so it's got the uh, same clip so all we're gonna do is just pop it right back into the same spot bam there we go a little dusty but I'll clean them up once I get them on the truck but way way nicer
All right, well, I got the front badge on decently. Um, I kind of stopped towards the bottom. As you can kind of see, it's just too cold out to get this done. I was using the heat gun and everything. It started coming out okay up top, um, but there's too many fingers. I'm sure I'll be able to work it a little bit, but I'm just not happy with that, and I don't think I'll ever be happy with it. So I think I'm gonna pony up for the nicer actual full replacement badges. They're like $200 for the front and rear, pretty crazy, but I think that's the best solution to go with since um, you know these just aren't up to my standards. It looks good, but I don't know. Just not where I want it to be, and uh, I'd rather have the full replacement so I don't have to deal with all the little fingers and bubbles and stuff. And I'm usually pretty decent with the final wrap. I've done quite a few things over the years, but just the curvature of the badge just makes it a little bit more difficult. You kind of see it down here and I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna take them off for now, think of a different solution. And uh, good thing is now the hose is free so we can wash it up. So it got way too cold out to wash the truck. So I decided to not rush it just to get a clean truck. I decided to just wait until I get enough time to do it properly and it's a little bit warmer out. Um, so not much worked out today. I got the mirror covers on. Uh, I didn't even get the badges off the side of the door. The, the emblems on the uh, truck just didn't turn out the way that I wanted them to. But to redeem myself, let's start up the STI. It's been two months so I, since I started it up. Let's go ahead, let's start it up and uh, hear what it sounds like from my complete cold start after two months. drive it, but I just don't have the time right now. Whew. All right, guys, so to wrap this video up, I'm actually going out to go get some gas in the truck. I have about a quarter tank left. That's usually when I actually go and fill up the truck, simply because uh, around where I live, oh, there's a deer right there. You can't even see it, but uh, where I live and the gas stations that I go to, they cut your limit off at 75 bucks and it's usually more to fill it. I think it was over, it was like 115 bucks or something like that to fill the whole tank when it was completely empty. Um, so I kind of figured out that filling it up um, when it's a quarter left, I'm able to fill it up totally and I don't have to either go to a new gas station or restart it just to fill it up. As you can see, I, I fill up around 300 miles or so. I use 22.7 gallons my mpgs are uh 13.2 so <laughs> i drive this truck pretty hard uh just with the intake and stuff and the new exhaust it's a fun truck to get around town in and everything it's it's plenty quick a lot of fun so i'm always getting on it and obviously not great gas mileage but whatever and it probably will decrease once i get uh, my new wheels and tires on but i plan on getting a tune very soon um, so that should actually help with the MPGs a little bit. Not much, but it should help. I've got to say, I really, really am craving driving the STI. I kind of wanted to go out this weekend and get a drive-in, but I just never had the time. Being a dad with three kids and just, you know, busy doing a million other things, I never got a chance to do it. Plus, it's been like 20 degrees. 
So it's been pretty darn cold and which is not great for, um, you know, summer tires, but hopefully it warms up a little bit soon. We can go out and get a good drive in. Uh, but let's go ahead, let's get some gas in the truck and then we can wrap this video up. I'm sorry there wasn't much going on in this video, but sometimes that's just what it is. And I just like to keep you guys updated with everything that I do uh, in the garage and everything, um, whether it's doing a bunch of stuff or just minor stuff that I did today. I just like to keep you guys in the loop. So let's go get some gas and then we'll uh, kind of wrap it up back in the garage. I don't know about you guys, but even still to this day, a full fuel tank still makes me happy. I still feel grateful that I'm able to do that. <laughs> It's a small thing, but honestly, it makes me feel good and uh, I never take it for granted, so. All right, let's head back to the garage, wrap this video up and uh, kind of give you guys an idea of what's coming up in the next couple weeks. All right, guys, so we are wrapping up the video here. So what's to come? Uh, this week, I actually want to start on the door cards uh, with the kill mat. As you guys know, I've done the trunk, uh, kind of the trunk lid, as well as the rear seat. Now I want to start working on the door cards. I'm not going to go crazy, kind of just exactly how I did the trunk and the rear seat. Um, just kind of put it in key areas that I think are going to help. I'm not going to go overboard and put it completely on the door card. Just enough to help with the sound a little bit and make actually the stereo system sound a little bit better as well, which can also help any rattles or anything like that, which I actually don't have any rattles, which is pretty crazy for a Subaru. <laughs> this car actually rattled less than my $70,000 E46 M3. Pretty crazy. Next week, I already think I already mentioned it early in the video, uh, wheels and tires and the level kit are going on next week, midweek. So I'll have a video on that. Um, and also waiting on the uh, Morimoto four banger LED fog lights for the truck as well. And I'm also contemplating uh, a tune for the truck. Uh, I mentioned that as well. I'm kind of back and forth of which one to go with. There's a lot of different options out there. It's all new to me, so I'm trying to see which one works best. I just want something kind of like an access port. I know Cobb sells one for the F-150. So I'm kind of thinking of the Cobb as well, naturally. But there's a couple of other brands out there that are seem to be really good and a lot of people recommend them and they have a lot of good reviews and stuff like that. So we'll see, I don't know. If anybody has any recommendations of a good tuner, uh, let me know, I would love to hear it. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for this one, guys. Again, I know it wasn't crazy and we didn't do too much, but it was just one of those days in the garage where I was able to get a few things done. Oh, I mean, not that this is much, but I was able to clear this whole entire section out. I had boxes all here. I had the AWE track exhaust, which uh, the guy who bought it just picked it up this weekend. Then I had a bunch of other stuff here from the truck that I ended up clearing out. Uh, and over here in this box as well, this is actually from Swiss Tracks. This is called Treadwear. It's actually a metal lip that goes along the entire uh, garage lip that I've been meaning to install. I've had it for a while now. It's black, it's really nice, uh, but you actually gotta drill into the concrete to install it properly. Um, just to kind of make the transition a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer. If you guys can't tell here, I mean, you can't tell from this angle, but uh, it bumps down. And so there's a lip right here. This transition with the edge pieces on the Swiss tracks really does help kind of make the transition smooth. But I'm thinking about putting it on the concrete right here. So it's kind of an easier transition, a little bit smoother, and it'll look really nice. So I'm thinking of doing that. Uh, and I got to do a video on that. I've been meaning, I've literally had this for almost a year now. It's just been hanging out. <laughs> so I definitely got to install that soon. Hopefully when the weather gets a little bit warmer. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all about the truck or the STI, please let me know in the comments below. And I promise you, we will be doing a driving video very, very, very soon. I am dying to get out and go for a drive in this thing. It's killing me actually. So, but yeah, guys, that's all I got. In the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you in the next one.